Hey guys, it's General Heed here, and for those of you who follow me on Twitter, I know I said I wasn't going to make a video today because I had exams, but I finished my exams early, and turns out I had some extra time, so I'm going to make a quick video for you guys. Uh, so, you should follow my Twitter if you haven't already, you know, I post some updates on there and other announcements. Anyways, uh, so for this video, this is actually thanks to you guys again. Uh, people tipped me off in my previous video about uh, Captain Keys. In the pre previous video a few days ago, I said that... Um, there's basically no way to get away with killing Captain Keys. Like, e even if an enemy shoots him, no matter what, you always get teleported back to the room and the door are locked. However, uh, some of you guys tipped me off. Using the same mods that I used last time, the, the Dev Trainer, which you can download for free on uh, halomaps.org, I think it was. Um, there's also another cheat called Freeze Time, which I just did here. You freeze time and all the AIs freeze. Um, and if you shoot them, which I'm about to do, it doesn't look like you killed them, but you actually did. But they don't they don't drop dead just yet. Not until you resume time. So here we go, let's resume time. There you go, he just suddenly dropped dead. And we're gonna freeze time again. And the reason why I'm zooming in every time I do this is because I had zoom map to that same button. But you know, it's no big deal. You don't have you can just change the mapping if you do this yourself. Anyways, both grunts here are dead, of course. And of course and now the next door opens. So, as you can see, uh, other like scripts on the map are also frozen, so like doors don't open and other, other scripted events. So, as thanks to you guys with a tip, what if I freeze time and then kill Captain Keys while time is frozen? What the hell are you doing? Security to the bridge. The master. Now uh, I don't know if you could hear that because I had probably had the game volume turned down, but Cortana still says like, "What the hell are you doing?" and then security to the bridge and everything. But the Marines do not come because time is frozen. And this door is still open. So let's see, can we get away with Cap killing Captain Keys now? Let's resume time. Yes we can, there we go. The door still closes, but we are on the other side and we don't get teleported. Because that script probably already kicked in or something while time was frozen. Alright, so, what happens now? Well, from this point on, all the marines cross the entire map. I mean, through the entire mission, are now your enemies. And the Covenant remain your enemies, of course. It would have been kind of funny if, like, the Covenant, like, turned good. <laughs> like, turn, become your allies when they find out you killed Captain Keys. But, no, nah, that doesn't happen. Instead, at this point, you basically are literally a lone wolf now. Um, <laughs> you probably now have more enemies than uh, that lone wolf mission on Halo Reach. Because everything is now your enemy. Now, fortunately... If you're on a bridge, um, as you know, the Marines that come in are all uh, invincible and can't be killed. But fortunately, the rest of the Marines out here are not invincible and can still be killed. So, this is actually really a, kind of a, a great challenge for people who are looking for more of a challenge on Halo 1 after all these years. What I suggest is, uh, and if you guys do this, make a video and like you know send it to me. I'm curious to see how well you guys do. But a challenge you could do is basically set this to legendary. And then do this uh, this trick to kill Captain Keys, and then basically proceed through the mission with everyone as your enemy. You basically have twice as many enemies, and even at the end of the level where we're here now, Marines are still your enemies. Like normally, if you betray Marines, they forgive you after like a little bit, but here they will never forgive you. <laughs> they will uh, they will try to kill you, <laughs> hunt you down to the end of time on this mission. But so that's what makes it more of a challenge. Because you basically have double the enemies. Now, once you get to the end, uh, <laughs> the Marines have like some nerve to like ask for your help at this point, <laughs> for you to save them, <laughs> and basically uh, beg for you to comfort them, <laughs> even though they just spent the entire mission trying to kill you. But <laughs> you know, obviously that's because just the cutscene and everything scripted from this point on. They're not going to turn on you in the cutscene. But still, it's just funny. Uh, but yeah, at this point. You've left the ship, and you've basically just gotten away with murder. <laughs> uh, if, <laughs> if you got that reference, it's an old song from like the early 2000s. In fact, if this was the early 2000s, and back when copyright wasn't like an issue on YouTube, I probably would have played the uh, <laughs> the song Getting Away With Murder by Papa Roach this entire time. Just like those old 2000s videos. <laughs> uh, anyways, so, we've uh, gotten away with it, so gonna give you guys a quick pun before we end the video and this is the pun I shared on my Twitter as well so uh, if you want more puns <laughs> follow my Twitter maybe uh, so 
Uh, the shoemaker's assistant was so bad that he was basically given the boot. I uh, get it, get it, <laughs> the boot. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, um, leave a like, and you know, leave your thoughts in the comments if you have any other ideas or suggestions. I'm always open to them, and as always, if you guys are you know new here or haven't subscribed yet, uh, please do subscribe. we got some great content coming out soon for you guys, so really excited to share that with you. So make sure you uh, subscribe, and stay tuned, and we will see you guys next time.